Should you upgrade your Heijin instant avatar to fine tune? In this video, I'm going to show you the differences between the normal instant avatar on Heijin and what it looks like after you pay to upgrade it to the fine tune model. Let's jump right into it. If you don't know what Heijin is, it's an AI tool that you can use to make an AI avatar or a virtual clone of yourself. So that way you can use it to generate videos that look and sound exactly like you, but you don't need to do any kind of recording on your own end. All you need to do is write some text or give Heijin an audio file of you or somebody else speaking, and then it'll generate a video that looks like you're speaking with your mouth moving, your mannerisms, and all that fun stuff. This is currently the best platform I've found to create AI avatars of myself or other people, but that's always changing in the AI space, so I'll be sure to update you if that changes. Also, I made another video going through how I've found to make the best AI avatar of yourself, so I'll put a link to that video in the description. So here in my HeyGen dashboard, you can see that I've already created an instant avatar and then upgraded it the fine tune to make a fine tune version of that same exact avatar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the same exact video by uploading an audio file so they're exactly identical and then we can see the actual differences between the instant avatar and the fine-tune avatar and see if there's really a difference and if it's worth upgrading so let's start with the instant avatar video so I'm just gonna go here and hit make a new landscape video and then it's going to pull in my instant avatar and I'm going to go to the script right here and we're gonna get rid of this part of the script and then I'm gonna upload an audio file so click upload audio file and then I'm just gonna upload this audio file that I previously recorded I'm going to give it a name. So we're just going to call it something like instant avatar demo. Then so when this video is generated, it's going to sound like this. This is the demo between HeyGen's instant avatar and its fine tune avatar. Can you tell the difference between the two? Both of these videos are AI generated, meaning I didn't need to record this, but one may look better than the other. Is it the instant avatar or is it the fine tune avatar? Can you really tell the difference? Okay, so that's the audio file that we're going to use to generate this instant avatar video and the fine tune avatar. So that's pretty much all we need to do. So I'm just going to hit submit and then I'm going to submit the video and then it'll start generating our video. And now let's do the same exact thing with the fine tune avatar while that's generating. So we go back over to video avatar, I choose my fine tune, do landscape, go to the script, delete this part of the script, and then upload our audio file. Wait a second for that to upload. While that's uploading, I'm going to call this fine tune avatar demo and we should be good to go so now i just need to hit submit so in just a few minutes our videos will be done and generated and then we can compare them and see how they look so both of our videos have finished generating now so we have our fine tune avatar and our instant avatar ready so let's take a look at a side by side comparison and see if you can tell the difference between the two of them this is the demo between heyjen's instant avatar and its fine tune avatar can you tell the difference between the two both of these videos are AI generated, meaning I didn't need to record this, but one may look better than the other. Is it the instant avatar or is it the fine tune avatar? Can you really tell the difference? It's pretty incredible how good both of these avatars are. Like these are both AI generated videos. That's not actually me speaking. And yes, it, there are a couple little quirks, but it's insane just how fast the technology has gotten to the point where it is today. And this is the worst the technology is going to look. So just imagine what it'll be like in a year. With AI generated video right now, there's still a couple quirks. So you could see like sometimes it would have me like doing mannerisms or motions that didn't really match with the words exactly. Um, but I think that'll get better with time. Now for the difference between the fine tune and the instant avatar. I do think there is a difference in the fine tune. So if you go back and look at the mouth, I think the mouth syncing to the words is much better on the fine tune. In this particular case, there was a couple extra little like hand motions and gestures that were a bit quirky, but that's not always the case when you generate the AI videos. So I would probably try regenerating this again and it would likely give me less hand motions. But on the fine tune, I've typically found that the lip sync looks more natural when you're looking closely at it. And a lot of the head movements uh, look more natural as well. The instant avatar is still awesome and looks incredibly realistic, but there's like a couple little moments where you can tell it's like mm, something's not quite right there. And I think the fine tune kind of helps to hide those a little better. Now that said, do you need to upgrade to the fine tune option? If you're just playing around with these avatars and just kind of seeing what they can do and their capabilities, I don't think it's really necessary to upgrade to the fine tune option. But if you're going to be using these for any kind of commercial reason or like posting to social media or making training videos from these AI avatars, I do think it's worth upgrading to the fine tune for that extra fidelity and clarity in the lip motion. For me, I typically always upgrade to the fine tune option because I run 
run a marketing agency where I use these avatars for people to make content for them to post on social media. So in that case, I want it to be as good and high quality as possible. But if you're using it in a way where you don't intend to be making money from it, then I don't think it's necessary that you upgrade to the fine tune model. If you want to learn more about how I'm using these avatars to make money and make videos for my clients, you can check out this video here. Or if you want to know the best methods to making your own AI avatars, you can check out this other video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one.